Hey guys, if you're looking to start the collection of the shiny golden boys, the Adeptus Custodes who are so popular now in the meta and among the players, this guide is for you because we're going to look at three different levels of how you can start this collection, starting from the basic where you only have the core of the army to the advanced where you have more stuff and extreme where you just buy everything. And we're going to talk about the most efficient ways of doing that. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I'm going to share with you my experience of collecting. I have uh, more than 11 40k factions now and I think I understand pretty well how to start the collection to make it both future proof and also uh, save as much money as possible because obviously the hobby is quite expensive so the first way that I usually start collecting for particular faction depending on how much I want to invest in it is the basic level it's where I establish the core of the army only this is just to have a 2000 points playable list uh, I do usually that when the rules are already established and uh, I know that the army is probably going to be at least playable with these 2000 points because obviously with how rules change how often they change uh, you may encounter a situation where for example you have had some discounts and now you don't have enough models to actually field 2000 points or vice versa some of the stuff you had uh, may have been nerfed and then you uh, need to buy something else or to wait until the rules change again uh, that's why the basic level is difficult because you may only have about one or 200 points spare and that's why it's so important to understand the feeling of the army how it will probably be evolving during the edition and uh, that's what i want to share so adeptus custodies now in 10th edition are a mostly infantry based army they do have some nice vehicles which we're going to talk about in this video but you definitely whatever you do always with custodies you need to have a sufficient amount of infantry involved so starting with the infantry elements uh, mostly and uh, continuing onwards into some vehicles is the way to go you're not gonna waste any money if you have a good basic core of infantry for custody what i recommend to do is to start with two combat patrol adeptus custodies boxes each contains a five-man custodian guard squad which is incredibly versatile you can build a four-man custodian guard squad and uh, the captain from it you used to be able to build a vexilla which was a separate character but now it's kind of a part of the unit which makes things a bit more complicated with how you choose your war gear but still it's a very good box with a lot of bits and some very high quality models you also get a three-man Virtus Praetor squad, so three bikes, and two Prosecutor squads, and each of these costs $60. So you have a total of $240 for the value of the box, and the GW price is $160. All the prices that I mentioned here are the official GW prices. You almost always have uh, ability to get a 10, 5 to 10 percent discount, depending on where you live. And this is a very good box, so you will have about $1,200 points worth of custodies with these two boxes just as they come next you definitely need more infantry because by now you only have what two squads of five and six bikers six bikers is a good number where you can if you want to you can field three units of two you can field two units of three or just one huge brick of six now in 10th edition the bikers are not as good as they were in ninth so you probably don't want to full six man brick however fielding multiples of twos and threes can be a good tactic especially with help of a captain again which uh, is uh, going to be built from the very same box and you can just dedicate one of the guys to be the captain and no one will have anything to say against that because the model is essentially the very same model it doesn't have like a special bike or a special spear everything is the same for the captain now you definitely have an option of going for the boarding patrol for the custodies but they are quite hard to find now on ebay and uh, the price for them is about 150 dollars so it's still a good deal but not nearly as good as the combat patrol adeptus custodies so don't hunt for it it's not that important in any case you need another five man squad of guard absolutely because you may want to run three units of five you may want to run a big blob of uh, 10 with a five man uh, unit you may want to run a 10 man unit with a captain so you definitely need some more models next i would recommend to 
purchase two units of three alarms because those are good they are not as hyper efficient as the wardens and guard now at the moment but they're still high quality models and with some price changes and potentially some rules changes in the future they may become very efficient and you still can very much use them competitively now in 10th with the current state of the rules I'm also going to recommend to purchase one squad of wardens is a five man box so it's much more price efficient than the Lars who are a three man box and you pay still the same $60 for them uh, and uh, the only problem with the five man warden box is that you cannot run five wardens now you can only run three and six I hope they're going to change that with the release of the codex we don't know that yet uh, but there is a kind of a obvious fix you can just use one of your custodian guard models probably the one that will have a cape uh, so that it looks more like a warden and no one will probably ever notice that it's not a, an actual warden model because the only difference is in the shape of the helmet and if you're gonna build the guy helmet less than no difference and obviously this skirt that the wardens have i'm probably using the wrong word wardens my apologies and in this way you'll be able to field either a full six-man squad or two three-man squads of wardens and both options have their benefits because wardens do benefit from having a character in the units with minus one to wound uh, but you also want to have multiple activations of their once per game four plus fill no pain ability so it's up to you what you want to leverage and this will bring you up to at least 2100 points and probably much more than that considering that some of those models can be used as characters and i also did not count any enhancements which obviously have no models associated with them so you can always add as many enhancements as you have characters and points the GW price for this set is around $560 and if you know anything about collecting 40k, $560 for a 2000 points army is not bad. It's definitely one of the cheapest ways of starting a 2000 points collection. And as again, this is probably more than 2000 points, especially if they receive a points increase, which they might very well receive it in the future. This basic level, I think, is very good because then if something changes in the rules you have a very broad base of models and you can with a little fix you can probably get yourself back up to a relatively competitive and optimized level uh, just by maybe purchasing one or two boxes more which is not gonna cost you a fortune that's what i'm gonna recommend for all the beginners out there don't go buying like crazy thousand dollars and more uh, of custodies models just start with that paint that stuff start playing with it and then you're gonna figure out what else to buy speaking about what else to buy here is my advanced level so here we're gonna aim to give us more significantly more headroom and variability of list combinations and also future proof our collection because if you have uh, about 3500 points or up to 4000 uh, that's uh, essentially the amount of points where you will always almost or almost always be able to build a an optimized list uh, maybe not a hundred percent optimized but maybe 95 percent optimized so competitively speaking it's going to be good enough uh, even if the rules change drastically for the army so that's the goal here in the advanced level and first i'm gonna want to expand the character base we have uh, and it should it must include the blade champion honestly you probably need the blade champion even in the basic level but considering the fact that you can if you really want to convert one of your custodian guard into a blade champion with a little bit of um, gluing and cutting uh, you may skip that part there but in the advanced level you might as well buy the 40 dollar model it's a very powerful character now in 10th edition with a lot of uh, mobility buffs that really really uh, enhance the custodians as the army because probably the only 
real downside they have is that they're not extremely fast and uh, a blade champion fixes that for one of the squads next is trajan uh 45 dollars so a bit more expensive and not a must-have character now in uh, 10th edition still a good bit stick and uh, some nice buffs like the once per game fight first for the squad that he leads and uh, in general uh, a really reliable uh killy character with damage three on his axe but he costs quite a lot of points and you still have those wonderful blade uh sorry uh shield captains that give you free command points which are mm, i think more important for custodies than the trajan's ability which is once per game Next is Valerian, he's much less important than the aforementioned shield captains, but still a decent character and having him in, in your collection is going to be beneficial because you uh, may want to field him somewhere in the future, especially if they change something when the codex comes out we have no vehicles yet so let's fix that i recommend to have two land raiders and two calidus grab tanks for firepower the land raiders cost quite a lot 90 points each but they are very very high quality models now in 10th edition and the graph tanks are just abysmally costed at 165 points which uh, i'm not going to comment on uh, the forge world price policy and why uh, so many players decide to let's just say experiment with other ways of procurement of these uh, fancy looking tanks and we'll leave it at that and i really hope they will release the plastic versions of these tanks in the future maybe when the codex drops perhaps uh, but in any case from the rule standpoint the graph tanks are wonderful they are one of the most reliable anti-tank options that uh, imperium armies have in general and they are fairly costed in points so a good thing to have in your collection in terms of infantry i would still add one more squad of guard and one more squad of wardens because you by now only have five wardens which is not perfect and you definitely might want to run three units of three wardens or or two blobs of 10 custodians, custodian guard uh, which is one of the meta ways of doing it now and the there's no such thing as having too many custodian guard plus the war gear is always a difficult thing because if uh, rules change and that happened for example with shields and with axes uh, the sword and board custodians are very inefficient now even considering that they have four wounds now the uh, fact that the sentinel blade is just damage one uh, makes the spear version so much better especially considering the range on the spear is 24 and the range on the uh, pistol of uh, the sentinel blade is only 12 so you get half the range you get half the damage in melee and all you get in return is just one extra wound where your main problem arguably is usually the damage three stuff and the axe is just as big of a problem now because most of the players had axes installed on their alarms and the wardens because axes used to be a bit better in uh, eighth edition and x now is half efficiency of the spear because you lose hit roll uh you lose one attack you lose ap and all you get in return is plus one damage which and also the strength which is not relevant because strength seven is high enough to wound almost everything on fives in terms of vehicles and almost everything in, on threes or twos in terms of infantry and heavier stuff uh so strength nine is absolutely irrelevant and damage three is uh good obviously but not as good as extra attack extra ap and extra uh hit roll by extra hit roll i I mean the fact that this axis hit on threes and the spears hit on twos so hopefully they'll fix that but before they do uh if you only had so many wardens and all of them had axes they are almost as good as unusable so always good to have some options and extra chunk in your collection just to protect you from situations like that from my experience i don't recommend you trying to magnetize the axes and spears uh, because they are essentially connected in the very tip of the shaft of the spear or axe and there is not enough space to put a strong magnet there and you're going to be almost always encountering problems with your uh, spear or axe top falling off when you're playing so you probably need to uh, glue it on just have some models of each type and you should be fine and obviously if you're starting to the collection now go for the spears because they were good in ninth they're good now in 10th and they probably stay good even if the axes are 
uh, brought back a little bit in efficiency. And this comes to a total of just over 3,500 points if you count one land raider and uh, two Calidus graph tanks. If you have one more land raider, that's obviously 260 points more. So you will have enough of that future proofing in your collection to be able to field a good optimized list almost at any point in the balancing process. Now the extreme level. This is essentially a Forge World Wonderland where you just buy all the exotic stuff because you already have all the basic stuff. Fortunately, it's absolutely not necessary to go to this level because uh, almost everything in the Forge World except for those draft tanks is skippable. Uh, so let's discuss it in uh, detail. Contemptors are okay. The regular kind costs $60 and is not good. It doesn't have that much of an output in shooting a good melee output but a bit slow to actually use it the ability to resurrect is nice that's why i think after a point discount it's going to be good to have two for now they're just a bit too expensive uh, the achilles and galatos dreadnoughts are both good the achilles is cheap in points i think like 155 and good in combat and galatos is very survivable especially in combat and both are just terribly expensive in terms of dollars they are both 111 for a dreadnought if you have that kind of uh, money for the collection i would recommend to have two of each for variability you probably don't need three uh, of each particular type because that's i think too much uh, but two will suffice in most cases telemon is tough now minus one damage four plus uh invulnerable save obviously two plus save so even if you are up against something like ab4 you're still gonna be rolling that four up and uh, the problem with him is that his shooting isn't great so you're paying 225 points so the price of a redemptor but redemptor has better shooting especially if you take into account the oath of moment and uh, even though four plus invulnerable save is good remember that you almost always will have cover so that's not as relevant now as it was in ninth or eighth edition but Telemann is still good and I would recommend to have one in your collection because with some points decreases you may want to run one for distraction purposes. Next I would have two units of three Venetari. They are abysmally expensive now like 83 points each something even more expensive than Alaris uh, but in general they're good all their stats are nice they're fast uh, they have some good um, melee potential and custodies really like fast units because they have very few of them so when they get a points decrease and they probably will in the future uh, at some point it will be have to have them in your back pocket Sagittarum uh, heavy bolter custodies essentially not bad especially their minus one to hit debuff which they can apply to a target they shot anything that is not a monster or vehicle and there are a lot of very uh, strong infantry units that you might want to debuff with that and they're also great uh, for your home objective uh, the only problem with them is that they can only be taken in as a unit of five so you will have to spend that 250 points for the unit because they cost 50 each Orna's Graph Carrier is definitely skippable at the moment because it doesn't actually give you important transport buffs like the Land Raider does. Uh, and the only benefit for, for the Graph Carrier is that it has an 8-man capacity, which I'm not sure you really need that much. The 6-man capacity of the Land Raider is good enough. Uh, the only benefit I can see is that you can transport a full unit of Wardens with a character in it, but you'll still have one spot spare. And the Corners Graph Carrier has essentially the same survivability as the Land Raider, apart from the 5-up uh, invulnerable save that the Graph Carrier has. Palace Grab Attack is meh, I don't really understand its role, it has awful shooting, it costs 120 I think points, and uh, why would you want to have it in your list? It's fast, I understand, but you don't really need that type of fast units, because it's still too expensive to just throw away, uh, and not survivable enough to be able to hold out long enough on the objective, so why bother? 
Ares gunship is fun, but absolutely inefficient. And Orion, as always, is there for the crazy custodies party bus build, <laughs> where you just put six custodies and a dreadnought in and hope for the best. It has a cool rule that allows units to advance and charge after disembarking, but that means that you must not use the uh, basic transport rule allowing you to disembark after moving and uh, you need to stay inside there to be able to uh, utilize that advance and charge so it's kind of strange i'm not sure what i think about it but still if you have that uh, level of funding for your collection and you're willing to spend 690 points on this thing then by all means do it because it's a very cool model it's a very beautiful model and it also has some nice uh, shooting support let me know if i've missed something or maybe you have started the custodius collection in a different fashion and it worked for you well i'm eager to listen to that and i'll see you next time